but we are going to keep it with corporate conversations on this leg of the show. And uh, Dixon Technologies was conferred with the most promising company of the year award at the India Business Leader Awards last evening. Atul Lal, MD at Dixon Tech, is with us now to talk about the business momentum, the outlook for the sector. Mr. Lal, first of all, uh, many congratulations. We didn't miss you at the ceremony uh, last evening, but uh, many congratulations on, uh, on the accomplishments. Uh, and I'll start with that first basic question, right? Uh, I, I think the, the awards are also a celebration of the story and everything that, uh, that you and uh, your people at Dixon have come to achieve. But just in the near term, uh, the going has been a little more challenging. I'm, you know, harking back to the last quarter, concerns and demand. You tell us, uh, we're in a brand new financial year. What's your look ahead? So thanks very much uh, for the award. You know, it's really heartening for all the 20,000 Dixonites. And before I respond to this, uh, to your question on the current business scenario, I would also like to share that in our last five years journey, uh, we have grown 4.5x in our revenues, 4.3x in our profitability. We've grown 4x in our number of people, 2x in our number of businesses. So it's been an interesting, very, very encouraging journey uh, for each and every Dixonite. And we really thank uh, CNBC for this award. Extremely sorry we're not there, but really thanks for uh, recognizing this effort by each Dixonite. On the current right. scenario, yes, we have had, uh, we have had yes, a yes, challenge. Yes, yes, Mr. Lal. We have had a challenge in, in last quarter. But please be rest assured the company is on a aggressive growth path. And uh, we are closing on some of the large contracts in very, very, very near future. So right. please be rest assured that uh, the, the kind of growth we have had is going to be sustained. Uh, a quarter here and there is only a blip. So right. the, the situation is going to be uh, extremely positive, yeah. Right, right. Uh, Mr. Lal, uh, good morning. Uh, Prashant here and uh, congratulations morning, once again uh, on the Thank award. You, and, uh, missed you yesterday at the ceremony, but good to speak with you this morning. Uh, extremely so. No, 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 absolutely no. Uh, Ms. Lal, uh, could you tell us, I mean, do you have some, uh, would you be able to share what F524 uh, numbers will will look like broadly? I mean, even if you're able to give us a range, because that'll be helpful for, uh, you know, uh, investors who are watching. Uh, the last time you joined, uh, you know, uh, we, we got a sense that the guidance, I mean, it's kind of tough to give the guidance at that point. Uh, but you did indicate that maybe a month, two months into the year, you'll have better clarity. Would you be able to do that? Uh, Prashant, I appreciate your keenness to know some kind of number guidance, but uh, I'm in, in the silent period. Uh, mm. I'm not in a position to share the numbers. All right. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah. to show the growth is going to be decent, much ahead of what industry growth is. Uh, it's going to be on the same line that we have had earlier. Please appreciate that we have had a CAGR in a revenue growth of more than 38% in five years, last five years. Hi, good morning, Mr. Lal. This is Nigel on this side. Uh, so we'll wait by for that official guidance on FI24. And last year was a bit of a tough year with scaling back of that guidance. So let's hold on to the near-term guidance. But as you said, last few years, you have moved from what? 3,000 crores of revenues. And hopefully you'll end this year between the 12 to around 13,000 crores odd. For the next four, That's five right. years, let's talk a, a, you know, a longer-term horizon, 2027 odd. What do you think this number could be? From around these uh, you know, 12, 13,000 crores, where do you see the company headed in terms of revenues? So, uh, undoubtedly, there is a very significant inflection point in electronic manufacturing industry in India, not only servicing the domestic market, but also the global markets. So, uh, doubling or at least taking it by 70-80% uh, from the current level uh, is very much, uh, very much possible. And that's what we are working for, aspiring for, and the opportunity is definitely there for that. Mm. So, so you'll be at least at uh, what you know. If I talk about uh, a seventy percent, uh, uh, an eighty percent increase from here, uh, you should be what t mid twenty thousand odd uh, from here. That's right. We're confident about it. Yeah. By twenty twenty seven. That's right. Okay, got that, Mr. Lal. Uh, you, you know, the, a lot of the products that you manufacture, they directly tie in with the end consumer discretionary demand, right? Whether it's mobile phones, it's consumer electronics. Uh, so give us a sense, uh, uh, when you talk to your customers, your clients, is there any slowdown or cutbacks at all because of the environment that we are in? 
or is it still firing on all cylinders? And in the same light, I also want to understand what capacity utilization levels you're operating at and how you expect to uh, you know, see utilization levels uh, throughout this year. So in our case, undoubtedly, the consumer demand, because what we manufacture for our, our customers, the brand owners, uh, is, is an important element. But equally important element is that what is the share of wallet of our existing customers we are going to have and also the new customer acquisition. So uh, uh, I find that in a mobile business, the order book looks good, very good. Home appliances is good. Lighting and mobiles, I would say, uh, lighting and, and televisions, I find it's slightly slow. Wearables and wearables is booming. We have, we have added capacities. We have moved from a million devices per month, and now we're going to be ready with almost 2.5 to 3 million devices a month. Telecom devices that we, we do for, for Airtel, who's our anchor customer, that is the routers, that's in a boom period. So that's the kind of scenario we're having at present. Light, you said lighting and which of the categories is a little slow? Lighting and televisions. Lighting and, and televisions and just capacity utilization levels at present I mean, ac across your plants? So lighting would be somewhere around 70%. Uh, television, please appreciate, is a, is a seasonal business. The, the, the production requirements are mainly around the festive period. So it's around 60-65%. Uh, Mr. Lal, the big one is mobiles, right? Uh, and I think the last time we spoke, you said that... I mean, actually, we have the data for the fourth quarter. Uh, and and uh, mobile shipment uh, shipments were the, were the slowest on record in uh, fourth quarter. I mean, global mobile shipments. So uh, there was a bit of a slowdown there. Has that improved uh, in the first quarter? And what kind of trends are you seeing there? So undoubtedly, the, the mobile volumes had declined even in India. Uh, but I, when I talk to our customers, uh, the sense one is getting is that the inventory in the channel is getting corrected. And uh, the coming quarter looks much better. That's what the sense I'm getting. All right, uh, Mr. Lal, just to come back in terms of a broader number, by 2027, you said, uh, you know, somewhere around mid-20,000 to uh, mid crores odd is what you could head to. So I'm just working with an 80% number from a base of around 13,000 crores. You'll be in that vicinity of around 23 to 24,000 crores which is uh, a number, right, that you will be looking at by 2027. My question to you is, uh, how much capex do you need to put to get to that number? Uh, because with the current facility, there would be a particular revenue potential. But to get to this 23, 24,000 crores, what kind of capex you have to incur? And also the targeted margins. You have been in this vicinity of around 4 5% or thereabouts. Do you have a targeted margin going ahead because of the product mix that you're going to be changing, as you were mentioning? So the capex intensity, we've just uh, come out of our budget meetings for uh, the current fiscal. We feel is going to be around 400 crores a year. Okay. And please appreciate growth is happening uh, with an extremely healthy balance sheet and practically no debt. So the so this growth is happening with this kind of capital intensity. And we, we feel that in spite of uh, this capex, we're going to be generating cash after capex year on year. Uh, so, so that would be enough to take you to that uh, 20, 23, 24,000 crores. That's right. And very quickly, the targeted margin in the next four or five years? So the targeted margin is going to be somewhere between 4 to 4.5% because the main growth is okay, coming same. from Mumbai, which is okay. largely a margin business. Okay, uh, just quick final uh, word, another final number, Mr. Lal, uh, PLI. Uh, I think you received uh, about 150 crores in March. This year, FY24? Uh, what kind of inputs are you expecting from the production-linked incentive scheme? So we are a PLA beneficiary uh, in under five schemes: mobile, uh, IT products, telecom devices, uh, lighting components, and air conditioning components. And uh, our account up to December 22, we really want to thank the government. Uh, we're the first and the only company whose account has been completely cleared in December 22. And our applications till March are in the process of uh, getting finalized. And uh, I think it's becoming seamless now. Uh, on all the other PLIs, we have achieved the thresholds, both on investment and the revenues. And uh, we're confident of achieving those targets in the current year. So we are a large beneficiary of uh, the PLI uh, domain. Okay, I know you can't talk numbers, silent period, so maybe after the Q4 print. Oh, we'll get down to some more specifics. But uh, thank you very much.
for joining in and giving us uh, a lot of the you know uh, the overall color on the business and the uh, the outlook going ahead. Thanks for joining in. That is Dixon Technologies. We need to